Godspeed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We had to run to the shops to get some mixes for our whiskey and there was a BWS so got a few more things and here we are on the beach so we just started a um, high tech um, 200 watt solar blanket and also a 25 amp DC DC charger which we showed you the other night and uh, we'll convert the AGM battery over to the 100 amp hour lithium battery that we have that we use for the kayak as well and Russell's just getting this all sorted this looks quite a neat wee job easy access so you might not have it all he might not have it all installed before we go away but we can finish it off when we're up there oh most definitely it's just taken a little while to nut out how to do it really yeah it's hardest bit or we'll do it nicely mainly i haven't sworn yet no, and it's stinking hot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fishing rods. And there's two big surf rods in the caravan because they're too big to fit in the back of the canopy. Hope we get to eat fish. Got our firewood and we're off in the morning. Yay! Yeah, because it's only like 37 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got our firewood. So that's what the solar panel looks like. Got a lot of thick dust on it. Just sitting in under the carport. I don't know if you can see it very good. The photography's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so October was breast cancer awareness month. So we bought some um more chocks and we got pink ones. Morning, Notch. Morning. <laughs> Where are we going? Coast. Where on the coast? Inskip. Yay. Let's go. Was that right, dear? Yes, darling. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I'm Just glad you're here. I wouldn't know what to do without my driving instructor. <laughs> Smile, Maggie. 
You have the camera. <laughs> In skip. I think it's like two and a half hours, but we'll take our time. They say you can't get in till two o'clock, I think it was. But we figure it's a Monday morning. Um, everyone probably would have left yesterday to be back home by today, so we're just going to wing it. Anyway, we'll take you along. Looking forward to it. Six whole nights, and it was, I think, 14. 50 or 14.25 or something a night, 14.50 I think for two, 7.25 each, so pretty good week's holiday I reckon. Yeah buddy, yeah, good. Can take doggos. Um, the weather holds out. Yeah, we're not sure about the weather but it's going to be a bit cooler, it's been terrible where we've been, but um, what was I going to say? Oh, we were originally booked in at um, Sarawak camping ground and they called us cancelled because um, of some dangerous trees or something so apparently it's closed until January I think don't quote me on that one but um, yeah so we're going to SS Dorigo or Dorigo however you pronounce it and uh, we'll suss that out if uh, we don't think it's suitable with the caravan we'll try Beagle but from what we saw on the maps and on Google Earth, Dorigo had a lot less trees. It was more open, which is great for us because it's all unpowered, obviously, and uh, we need the solar. Um, Beagle didn't look too bad, but there were quite a few trees on it. Yeah. So, um, anyway, we'll work it out when we get there. And if we can't get into either of them, then we'll just find somewhere else yeah. and get our money back. <laughs> Bakery. I know. Yeah. They don't open on a Monday. Oh, it looks like it is. Oh. It used to be only half a week. Oh, yeah, doors open. Full of school children have gone for a piddle. Oh, they should be gone soon. <laughs> I think there's toilets at the back of the shop, anyway, isn't there? Uh, I think there is actually. They're fucking off now, anyway, aren't they? They've all dropped all. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to tell me, Arch. I think you need to say filming. Filming! Oh, bloody film late now. It's not even turned on. <laughs> it is. Thank God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So we're just stopping at Hillcaven, take Maggie for a walk, park, and go to the loo, grab something to eat, and then we'll keep going.
too far, is it? No. All right, should we find a Siri? Find a spot? Sure. Do you want me to take her? Yeah, all right. Then yours, Max, come on. Let's have a look down here. Yeah, remember when on Google Earth we were having a look? And um, there was that there, which doesn't look real flat. And then there was here. And there was another opening just down that way. Only thing is the caravan so drawbars so I'll low. Out here. Yeah. Oh, feet. Yeah. I would have had a go of getting in there. Would you? I don't know. With the caravan? No. no. It do I, I would bottom out. Yeah. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, stop. You're gonna hit the tree. You need to come back a bit. Should be okay, just slowly. Yeah. Okay, all good. This. That's um, not too bad level wise. The tow bar is about that far off the sand though. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm just going to have to go back. So we set up camp, then we had to do a run to Rainbow Beach because we had bought all our syrup and bottles of water with our, for our soda stream mix and left the actual soda stream machine back at home. So we had to run to the shops to get some mixes for our whiskey and there was a BWS so got a few more things and here we are on the beach. It was really, really hot today. Um, sorry about the wind, but that'll probably be better. But today, now, is just beautiful. It's about quarter past four. Nice breeze. And a bit cloudy. Riding that out too far, eh? No. Just out, the, out where those waves are breaking, I reckon. This is a um, running sinker set up. I'll put the sinker up there. Got about a metre of um, clear 
for the leader, player leader, and uh, I've got the bigger hook with a little stinger. Roger Osborne does it all the time. It seems to work quite well, so we'll see how it goes. Awesome. Try it tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Good morning. So, first morning at Inskip. We just camped over there. Now, they came in just in here somewhere. And apparently, I just want to have a look at the bay on the other side to take the kayak. I don't know that you take the kayak through there. We had light, um, light drizzle last night. Home got 40 mil. Um, so the sand's all a bit wet, but it's a lovely day, beautiful breeze, very overcast, but not as hot as it was yesterday. I think you get the kayak in there somehow. No. I don't know if there's oh, look, anything. Over there through the trees you can see caravans. That must be that Pelican. Oh. Is it Pelican Bay? Maybe we should go for a yeah. drive in there and have a look. Yeah. Alright, come on. So we're gonna have a tiki tour and look at the other campsites. And um, there's a sinkhole up near the point. So we're going to um, have a go fishing in there too. So the ute's got no qualms with the sandy tracks, but we have very little clearance on the caravan. So that's a bit of a concern. Anyway, we love our poppy. So we're just gonna go and suss out Pelican Bay campground for the kayak. Drive through there? Yeah. Might as well, eh? Looks very treed. Does. Ah, oh, sorry, don't want to drop you like that. They got a good driveway though. Yeah, from memory, from what I saw on YouTube, it gets um, sandy right, it's just right on the bay, on the sand there. Ah. There's no dunes or anything in between the campsite and the water. Because I actually thought about um, camping here down near the water, but I wasn't sure about getting through this driveway that we'll walk down with our van anyway. Now pretty soft sand down there though. It's beautiful. Look at the, the electric scooters. The end of the caravan. Oh yeah, cool. You sit on it. How awesome would that be? Yeah. This is nice, eh? Hey? It's not bad. I don't know that we'd get our van in here. I oh, know. Beautiful. A few campers over there. Be midgy, midgy world. Oh, I would imagine so. And we're 
they're over here somewhere. Yeah. I'm a bunny lad. Boony. <laughs> <laughs> Boony hat. So there's a big car park up here. Oh, righto. So this is uh, Bullcock Point, I think. Boat ramp. Yeah, that's where the ferry lives at night time. Do not park cars. Oh, okay. You can park over there, though. I think. Okay, yeah. There's a houseboat there. This looks like a car park, doesn't it? It does. It'd be a good option, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know why they don't load the cars near the boat ramp. Yeah. Instead of everyone getting bogged at Inskip Point. Yeah, I don't know. This is um, Sarawak West. It's the last camping spot before the point where you catch the barge to Fraser Island. Um, but when I tried to book in here, it wasn't available because this is where we would have come. But it is still fairly treed. Would be quite nice actually. Is it down here? Yeah, alright. Let's watch hopefully the dogs on. Landslides are common occurrence, okay. It's all about the sinkholes and stuff, I suppose. Oh, wow, well, look at the lift. Wow. There's your sinkhole. Yeah, Gosh. I, think, I think the other hole was further back out here. Yeah. yeah. Was on the other side of those trees. Yeah. Holy dooly. Look at all those trees. That's sad. Sure. The barge going over. And there's yeah. Fraser. Fishing. We're at the Sarawak West campground on the beach and uh, it's not a very nice day. Oh, we're starting to get wet but it's not hot, it's not cold. I don't know if you can see right over in the distance, it's in Skip Point. And all the vehicles waiting to get on the barge to go over to where that barge is and that's Fraser Island.
baby flatty? Is it? Baby flatty. Hello, little fella. Got him on the stick, too. Hey. Oh, baby flatty. Well done. Awesome. Just missed you reeling it in. They got you bringing out the oh, bike. Oh, did you? Yeah, right up. Valley. I only just put it out. I went, oh, that didn't go far. I got a snag. And then you came. Hello, little fella. One each on the board. just finished fishing on the low tide um, we caught two wee fish each way too small to keep but anyway it was fun and we're going to go back to camp and then this afternoon we're going to try and um, fish on the high tide yeah so looking forward to that can't oh. think of a better way to spend a Tuesday so we're both smelling a bit fishy enjoy that yes I did I did too it's good it was great <laughs> oh, I look. <laughs> So we did that fishing earlier on today. We come home, had a huge cat nap, and then we went out the front. And Russell had a double hookup, didn't you? I did. Yep. And they were dark fish. They were. And it was exciting, and I didn't have the camera. No. But they and we I couldn't. Was very <laughs> happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're just finishing our tea and but calling all it a night. Small. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway still got some that was awesome it was wonderful yeah thoroughly enjoyed it and um we're trying out our aussie mozzie again and it's bloody brilliant we're gonna buy another one doing very well between that and this expensive stuff <laughs> cinnabar and it works yeah bloody it? so far yep. it seems to be doing very good yeah very happy Anyway, that's us and our first full day here. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, Should I think tomorrow we're going to go out to Carlow Point and get some fish and chips or something. Yeah, and rainbow. And rainbow. Yeah, do a bit of around. housekeeping. It's going to be buy some, Go to the fishing shop and buy some tackle. Of course. So I, I need some. You always need some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. See ya. So we thought this would be um, a good idea, or I did rather, and um, she's pretty hard work in the sand, but if you want creature comforts like a chair, I'm good.
Maybe yeah. it's because it's smaller. So what are they going to be? 30? Yeah. That would have been an effort to get that down in there. What is? Might it come through the exit? Maybe. But it gets a bit rutty down here. Oh, righto. So, good morning. It's uh, day three. It's Wednesday. We're going to go and have a look at Carlo Point this morning. Um, it's quite a warm, hot day. There's a talk of... Um, storms this afternoon we're just taking the ute through um, the exit of the campground because uh, I've got uh, oh, bins sure there's a fellow poppy they high up though yeah Yeah, it's a bit hard to bring the uh, the caravan through that. Oh, but, but yeah, it's too high in the middle. Yeah, we'd have to, um, we'll have to go out the entry. Yeah. But that's okay. So they have bins provided, I think, at the exit of each campground, which is pretty cool. And that's with the full pressure. Oh yeah, so we haven't let the tyres no, down. No, very no, handy. No, just in four low. We'll get it. You're going to hold that? Oh. Oh, boat ramp, big four. Boats everywhere. House boat. See how I live in there with that. Look at that. Look at that house boat look. Yeah. Are you looking? I am. Yeah, I don't think you are because your camera's pointed in the wrong direction. Doesn't mean I'm looking where it's the camera shed. is. I know it's a shed. I was looking for the dingiest one out there. <laughs> so I knew which one you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, I saw that this one. What's happened there? Something's happened there when you get a pile of shit like that on the side of the fucking boat ramp. Oh, yes. Where do you go? So there's your big turn. Great sandy marine park. I suppose we should get out and have a bit of a look, eh? Yeah. It looks like they're going to put some buoys out, eh? Buoys? Oh, yes. New some green buoys. Hey? New green buoys. Yeah. Yeah. Fish down here off high tide. You see them. Mm. See them everywhere, eh? I know. Another BWS. And there's a pub there, Great Northern. It's a nice looking pub. It is a nice looking pub. Pharmacy. Um, Butcher, Baker. Oh, well, there's actually a little township. Yeah, there's a little town. 
Yeah. Yes, there never used to be. When I used to come out here, I think there was just a general yep. store. Yeah, that I was Spar? Back in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Tapas Bar Tapas and Grill. Grill. There's your beach access. Yeah. Sit up and get some fish and chips or something. That'd be nice. What do you reckon? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Gotta get some lunch. Guys. So this is what you call having a lunch with a view. Yeah. How nice is that? Nice breeze. And that's lunch. Holy dooly. Got from fish. Yeah, nice. That's very nice, isn't it? It does. Alright, I'm gonna hook in. So that one said card only, but this one accepts coins. No. Nope. Alright, what'd you put in, Dollar? Right. Oh. You, you, oh no, if you shut it off, it might stop. Yeah. I have to stop it here. Yeah. I take well 200 watt solar blanket. I've got that with the 190 watt solar panel up on the roof. Doesn't even feel like a solar panel. It's got that raptor skin, they call it. It's supposed to be good for um, not getting scratched. And we're maxing them on the battery monitor and we're really happy with this. So we came here on the Monday, it's now Wednesday afternoon and um, we just got the Slimline Kings 100 amp power and the last it's got to is 1313 hasn't it? Yep. Of course, then we've done a tiki tour into um, Rainbow Bay, Rainbow Beach rather, and it's back up there. It's absolutely smashing it. So, really happy with it. Yeah, we haven't had to get a solar blanket out like we used to all the time with the AGM. So, just going to show you the finished product as such. Russell finished it up, tidied it all up and it looks awesome and the whole setup worked really well while we were away we we're really really happy with it and we didn't have sunny days the whole time either so good job our agm was getting quite tired so we're trialing something a little bit different we've um, had many pizza bases and we're doing them in the Voyager outside and they're coming up a treat. We had such a big lunch today, didn't we? Yes. And this is just perfect. And didn't, did you not want any? Yes, I do. There's still right? two more in the Voyager <laughs> to come. But um, yeah, we got back late because um, we we're out on the beach fishing. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, we didn't catch anything. Russell had a few nibbles. I had a dip. Maggie had a shit, 
So we're all happy. And their neighbours had a fight. Oh yes, and, and, camp and was... packed up camp and broke it and left. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all been happening. So if anyone wants a uh, destroyed um, marquee, marquee, there's one sitting under the tree out there. <laughs> all right, that's us for tonight. We've had a lovely day, Tiki Turin. Tomorrow night we're going to do some lamb shanks on the fire and um, just chill, I think. Anyway, have a good night. That's what Shazza and Dazza left behind after their drunken argument last night. Quite entertaining. hate to think what the uh, trip home was like. Of so I don't know if you can hear this or not, <laughs> but we're in the middle of a huge storm. Oh. And now it's stopped. <laughs> no, it's supposed to last for about an hour. Thank you, Huey. We've um, got new anti-flat bars on the awning, but uh, we never got the awning down in time, So, but it looks like it's doing alright, yeah. doesn't it? But it's coming in from this direction. So um, we closed the, um, what do you call it, the window cover at the front there, yeah. which is brilliant. Um, and it's very hot. That's it. <laughs> So it keeps cutting out, but looks like it could last up to an hour. I don't mind the rain, I just can't stand the wind. Anyway, put a 12 volt pen over on the table. Alright. That side's fine. Fell down on that side. It's not too bad actually. It's pre pretty good actually. The Everything table, quite, yeah, quite well. fell over. Did the boiled barbecue when it crashed? Beautiful mats all wet and yuck. Shower was fine. Except for my loo paper got soggy. Only downfall to an outside on sweep when the weather's bad. But anyway. What's that? Only downfall to an outside on sweep when the weather's bad. You got wet toilet paper. I did. And I had to go out with a raincoat because I dare not sneeze at 4.30 this morning. Oh. <laughs> And so the 100 amp hour battery in the car is down to now 12.8, Russell said. Yeah. So it's now Thursday, we come here Monday, and it's run the 75 litre kick-ass fridge freezer yeah. the whole time Three without days. any charging. Oh, I had a little bit of charge from the car. Oh, when we travelled, yeah. yeah. And Russell broke his glasses. Or oh, we're not sure, it might just be a screw. I don't know. I the, need the handle's on the table in there. I went to sleep with them on. <laughs> All right, let's clean this up. Get a coffee. So we've got a gorgeous day today. We're gonna head out to Kalula Cove, have a ticky tour there, and have a sticky bee. Um, we had a hoo of a night last night with the storm, but um, it's beautiful today. We did well, eh? We have all our gear. We were prepared for a day. Yeah. And we did pretty well actually. We... Yeah, we'll um, show you the footage from this morning. It was really only one of the new um, anti flap kits that had fallen down. Um, oh, and the table with the Voyager barbecue. Blown 
one over. But that was our, that was my own fault. Other than that. Well, that was your own fault, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> Take this, drop that heat a bit, right? Eh? Yeah. Just got to add potatoes and some sweet corn. Beautiful. Very good. So we've just done some lamb shake in a stewy type setup with some veggies. Oh, look at that. And Russell put some sweet corn and potato. Yeah, there's, uh, what do we put in there? There's carrots and a bit of gravy. Broccolini, broccolini onion. Onions. And, and some and garlic some bread in the air fryer. Why? Because we can. Oh, you've done it again, Arch. I've done it again. Pardon so, me. <laughs> so we didn't feel too much, film too much, sorry, today. We had a big walk along the beach and it was really hot, wasn't it? It was. It, yeah. it made me have extra beers. Oh, damn. Today. Damn. Anyway, we um, didn't do any fishing. The tides weren't right. And, oh, we went um, for drive anyway. We were busy. Yeah, we went for that drive and busy getting the fire on. And they're saying another storm, but not looking too bad. We've got people arriving. Oh, oh yes. And we've got people arriving um, and staying Friday and Saturday night and we'll all leave Sunday. So I think it's supposed to be a bit cooler. It was like 35 today and um, tomorrow's supposed to be 26. So I hope so. so Look at that. Uh, we don't have lamb shanks often, but we do <laughs> seem to have it when we're on the road because it's... Um, a great thing to cook on over the fire. <laughs> All right, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Morning, Odge. Morning. <laughs> so, um, we uh, this is Saturday, it's our last full day here, and we're going out to Bullock Point. Um, we're going to try and catch some liveys and we're taking the kayak out. So um, we haven't done much filming because we've got people with us and um, we'll respect their privacy. But um, I might get a little sneak peek of the kayak race with the outboard motors. You yeah. never know. <laughs> All right, see you at Bullock Point. So the water was right up to the where the wheels were nearly. I had to go back and get my hat and look how much it's dropped back. Boys have been out in the kayak, but no such luck. Have fun. Wrong way. Yeah. No, it's right up now. Oh. That's it.
So this is Bullock Point. Earlier on in the video I said Bullcock, but it's not, it's Bullock. Okay, good morning. Our last morning here. Uh, Sunday, um, we're halfway through packing up and we've had an awesome time. Caught some fish. What more can you ask? Go go home, Mags. Morning, Arch. Morning. Oh, Russell's not happy for a change. <laughs> <laughs> no. Get in your room. <laughs> Beautiful day, nice breeze. You're right. That's it. Whoa. 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 So you just the caravan's not really moving, you're going on a bit of a if I go forward, the way you're pointing, I'm going into that grass. The way your wheel's pointing now is good. Can't hear John. Into the grass. Yeah, go, baby. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh, you got the thing out for me. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I love using gear like this. But <laughs> well, you're buying your navy. I know. You're right. But it's. Get that on film too, did you? <laughs> I didn't get you. It's oh. alright. I didn't film you. <laughs> I probably should try a little bit further, but I think I'll pull it out of there. Hey, listen. Thank you very much. No yes, thank you. I never wanted to use these. <laughs> now they've been christened. They have. But I've, oh, oh, see, I've still got full pressure. Yeah. Yeah, right. we haven't. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Pretty sure that's Sue and Derek. Sue and Derek and Bobby's chairs just there. I did go for a walk this morning, but they were still in their van. I didn't want to seem like a wally. That was an eventful morning. <laughs> eventful bit. departure. Finally got to use our Max trucks. Oh, don't say that. I filmed it all. I know. <laughs> anyway, you know it's doable. It's just, um, certainly raises the anxiety levels. <laughs> yeah, okay. See you later. Okay, so we've got just 
under two hours left before we're home. We um, hit the frog and toad and you would have seen the footage of us getting out. First time we used our max tracks. <laughs> anyway, we had a great week. It was awesome. Just really nice to um, have a different way of life. I guess just walking on the beach and fishing and it was good. Better than working anywho. So you enjoyed it, Arch? I did. Yeah. I don't know where we're going to go next. Here's your um, cactus. Um, so we're just going to top up with diesel for the trip home and um, we'll see you on our next trip. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks guys. See ya.